The King's College women's basketball team is preparing to open the 2012-13 season and joining us today is Lady Monarch head coach Brian Dunahoo. Coach, thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Thanks. Good morning. Coach, you're coming off a fantastic season a year ago in which your team went 24-6 and and reached the NCAA Division III National Tournament Sweet 16. But this is a new year, and although there are some key returning players back, there were also some key losses, and the squad will have a different makeup from last year. You have been practicing for roughly a month now, so what have you seen from your team? Uh, I think we've seen a, a, wide, a wide range of things. I think uh, we feel like we have a talented group again. Uh, we feel like we are very athletic, but ultimately we have a lot of women in new roles, and the new roles breeds a little bit of inconsistency this time of year until we start to grow into those roles and find out how they're supposed to work. Well, one of those players that you have coming back is senior point guard Kayla Michaels, who was a first-team All-Freedom Conference selection last year. Kate has battled adversity throughout her career with some injuries, and she always seems to take a beating of sorts in games, yet she just keeps on going. Have you ever coached a player tougher than Caitlin, and what does she mean to your program? Caitlin truly is, is about as tough as anybody I've coached in 18 years of women's basketball. Uh, she's just so physical at the guard position, and she's physical whether it's in practice or whether it's in a Sweet 16 game. Uh, her skill set is unique, both physically and, and basketball skill-wise, and the way that she plays only magnifies both those things. Hey, you're widely regarded as a tough, hard-nosed player with a motor that doesn't stop. You have been injured, you have battled to get back into the lineup, you get knocked to the floor, but you always seem to get up. What is it inside Caitlin Michaels that allows you to do the things that you do, despite the physical pounding you, take, you have taken throughout your career? I mean, I'm just competitive. I will do anything for the ball. I don't I would just sacrifice my body. It doesn't really matter. It's just all matters if we get the win at the end of the game. Looking at your team heading into the season, what do you see as the strength of your squad? Uh, we definitely have a bunch of girls back. Uh, we should have experience this year with going to the Sweet 16 last year. Uh, we should have the confidence knowing that we could compete with anyone in our in our conference. Let's talk a little bit about one of your teammates who seems to fly under the radar a little bit, but she has been a major contributor to the squad. As a freshman last year, Marissa Manning started at center the entire season and ended the year with her best game in the Sweet 16, scoring 21 points with 10 rebounds. By all accounts, she's been outstanding in the preseason thus far. So talk about Marissa, the development she has made, and how important she is to the team. Uh, Marissa's going to be a big asset to the team this year. She was last year. I just don't think she realized it. Uh, this year, she needs to start off how she ended last year. She definitely has potential to just, just go out there and be one of the best forwards. What goals have you and the team set this year? Uh, we've definitely set a bunch of goals. Uh, we always have the goal of not losing on our home court. Uh, we always want to cut the net down. We want to get back to where we were last year. We want to keep competing every night. Talk about the experience you have had as a women's basketball player at Kings and the success you and the team have enjoyed over the years. Uh, it's been great. Uh, freshman year, I mean, having the season end with my ACL tearing uh, wasn't the best, but coming back uh, sophomore year, building up to last year, going to the Sweet 16, we're in the run for a MAC championship. Uh, I just want to finish it out this year. Another key player back is senior shooting guard Celia Rader, who is a quality three-point shooter. In fact, in last year's NCAA tournament win over William Patterson, she tied the NCAA all-time tournament record with nine three-pointers in the game. Talk about Celia and the role she plays on your team. Uh, obviously, Celia is one of the better shooters in the conference. Uh, she had a great NCAA tournament for us, but she had a great junior year for us. Uh, she's done a better job of picking her spots to get her shots. It's our job to be able to find opportunities for her to get shots both in transition and in the half court. Uh, she plays great with Caitlin. Caitlin just distributes the ball fantastically. She understands what we're trying to do, but ultimately it's our job to hopefully get her in positions where she can score the ball, and I think we're, we're starting to grow into that a little bit. Our third senior is six foot forward Lindsay Atchison who has the versatility to play multiple positions from guard to forward. What do you expect from Lindsay this year? Uh, Linz, Linz is in a big spot for us this year. She, uh, she has to score the ball for us. She has to rebound the ball for us, uh, both at a little bit more production uh, than she has earlier in her career. She's always had good spurts of it, and we're looking to have that more consistently for a 25-game season, and we expect it to happen. She's a tough matchup problem, and ultimately we feel like she should uh, be able to get some production on the offensive end because of... Uh, the uniqueness that it is to try to guard her. You have a group of five seniors who are the foundation of the program. 
What do you see as your role in terms of leadership, both on and off the court? Um, as far as my leadership role, I think just doing what I've been doing. Um, I'm not always the scorer. I'm not always, you know, the ball handler, but just doing whatever I can do to help a team come out with a win. Coach Donahue said he expects a little bit more of you offensively this year. Do you think you have that in your game? Um, because we did lose um, our two leading scorers, I think I definitely can pick it up. Um, I just got to get my aggressiveness back. Athletes want to improve each and every year. What do you look to improve on as a basketball player heading into your senior year? Just as I said before, um, improving on my aggressiveness. Um, I know I can get to the basket. I just got to prove it now. Kings has been picked to finish in first place in the Freedom Conference preseason coaches poll. And knowing Kings has made a name for itself last year in reaching the Sweet 16, and now being labeled as the preseason favorite in the conference, how does it feel entering the season with a big target on your back? It's definitely a lot of pressure. Honestly, I think I liked coming into uh, you know, the past three seasons as we have as the underdogs. Um, so it definitely does put a big X on our backs, but I think we can handle it. Um, like I said, we lost a great group of seniors. Um, so, you know, we're going to have to prove ourselves. Our final two seniors are 5'10 forward Molly Dahl and guard Kylie Henry, both of whom will add depth and will likely make their contributions coming off the bench. Can you tell us how you see these players contributing this season? Uh, Molly and Kylie have, have both had great off seasons. Uh, both are very well uh, respected by their teammates to the point where they were both voted captain this week. We, we believe that uh, Kylie will, will give great leadership to our guards, Molly to our frontline players, both will have a and have had an immediate impact and need to have an impact as we go forward, both on game day and, and more importantly also on preparation day. They both understand what it means to prepare for a game day and we anticipate both will be on the floor um, throughout the season. Coach, you do have some returning players who are hoping to earn increased playing time as well as six first-year players who are trying to make the adjustment to the collegiate basketball scene. Which newcomers have made the biggest impression on you so far? Uh, our, our six newcomers ha have had a good fall, but ultimately, until we get into game action, that will be see where their, where their roles go towards. Uh, Gene McLaughlin is a junior who's been around our guys for a couple years um, as, as, a, as a fan and as a friend, and now she's on the roster, so I think she's probably the most comfortable uh, and has done well at the guard spot. Uh, a couple of our freshmen, uh, Jennifer, and Tara, and Tiffany, have, have done well. Um, when, when the moment has come. Uh, last couple weeks, Sarah and Katie have both had very good uh, production weeks. So we're excited to see where they're going forward as they uh, get more comfortable in the college game, especially with the speed of the college game. And uh, the adjustment's been pretty good so far, and obviously it will only get a little quicker this weekend once we start playing real games. You have a tough early season schedule, opening at the Scotty Wood Invitational at Muhlenberg Friday and Saturday. You have a first round game with Mount Aloysius, and if you should win that, you will likely meet host Muhlenberg, who was a fellow NCAA national qualifier last season. After that tournament, then you play at nationally known Scranton on November 20th, then you make your home debut against perennial Colonial States Athletic Conference contender Gwen and Mercy on November 26th, just a few days after Thanksgiving break. And then you open the Freedom Conference schedule two days later against a very talented Delaware Valley squad. What was the thought process about putting together such a challenging early season schedule before the conference opener with Del Valle? We traditionally want to play a quality non-league schedule to get ready for our league. Uh, we believe our league is competitive from day one, so we need to be ready on day one once that first league game happens. Uh, it just so happens with the Muhlenberg tournament, we're going to see uh, Mount Aloysius, who we played last year opening day, and then hopefully Muhlenberg that second day. But playing that schedule at Muhlenberg, at Scranton, home against Gwynedd, uh, will, will be a lot. That's a heck of a 10-day stretch to start the season, especially with uh, some new faces and some new roles. Uh, but ultimately, we need to get ready for Delaware Valley and FDU that first week of uh, the league season. Coach, what are the keys to your team being successful this season? With all Division three teams, we have to be healthy. Um, that, that's obviously the biggest thing. We, we need the new roles to be grown into quickly and we need just to be a little bit better on the offensive end. We believe we're actually uh, maybe even a little bit more talented on, in, in some positions than we were last year. Uh, everybody's a year older and that NCAA tournament run experience will be great for everybody, but ultimately we need to get to a spot where we're just on the floor playing and see where we go. Well, Coach, thanks for your time and good luck this weekend and the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing everybody.